So a little while ago, I posted some pictures and an article on Microcentered News about how I turned this Mac Mini and Apple Studio display into something kind of like an iMac Pro, which was an actual device that Apple used to make. Uh, it's a very simple 3D print, a little cable routing. I started with this guy right here. This is a 3D printed little bracket that takes your Mac Mini and attaches it to the very specific Apple Studio display, which has this cutout right here that's really handy for that. Uh, there are other brackets you can get if you have different types of monitors, but I wanted to pair the M4 Mac Mini, which I have here, and the Apple Studio display. So this literally just slides right in here. I've got the power cable routed through the middle of it, and it grips on from the sides like that. And then I already had this all wired up, so I just slipped it out to show you, but you take your Mac Mini, and I've got a bunch of things hanging off it. I've got a little portable hard drive here. I've got a bigger drive here. And you just slot it right in. I'm going to take this little portable drive and frankly, just tuck it back here for now. I'll do something with it later. That's just temporary. Uh, but more importantly, I've got this big M.2 drive here in this enclosure that I have fixed to the back of the studio display. And I've got the cables routed this way, except for the power routed this way, because that's where my outlet is. But now everything is together and everything moves at one time. I used to have the Mac Mini uh, in a separate 3D printed case. It was actually in this 3D printed case that looks like a Mac Pro, uh, but I hated having to move the monitor and not have the computer move and worrying about knocking it over or running out of cable play. So instead, now I've got it all together here, and that is how I took an M4 Mac Mini and an Apple Studio display and turned the whole thing into basically a modern version of an iMac Pro.